Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. I certainly am. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Yes, Aries. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. Yes. Guess what? We're going to be talking about the number two today. Yes, the number two and the significance of the number two and how you can step into the vibration of the number two. We already talked about the number one. If you didn't get a chance to see that, please go click on the video for the number one. Yes, yes, yes. And I have a positive affirmation for you all at the end of this reading. So let's go. You all know this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, please go to Queen Amun Ra. Dot com. You can schedule your personal readings there. We're putting a lot of great stuff up there. Me and my team are putting things together, trying to make sure we service everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries. <laughs> As it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful Aries? Speaking of an Aries, this person right here is an Aries, Lila Dorsey. Let me show you this book, y'all. Let me brag for a second because y'all know I love this book. Let me see if I can fix my camera because I'm trying to, I have the camera um, positioned down so you all can see the cards. But let me, let me sit it up for a second. You all see this. Okay, this book right here, Lila Dorsey wrote... Orishas, goddesses, and voodoo queens, right? Yes. Listen, I have my autographed copy. I need y'all to go out and support this awesome queen. Yes. Yes, this god, this goddess. See what she wrote? Because I know y'all like, mm-hmm. Look, she wrote, Queen Amun Ra, thanks so much for your work, your support, and all you do. Ashe, Lilith Dorsey. Yes. Y'all got to go out and get this book. When I tell you, if you want to know more, it's a lot I can share with you all on this. But listen, this person right here is an expert in all of this. So please, please, please go and purchase the book. You all are going to, trust me, you know, I just don't recommend anything on my channel. This book is the bomb for real. <laughs> like you really want to learn, like really just be taught. Yes, this is the book for you. She did not ask me to do it. She doesn't even know I'm even featuring her book. I featured it one time before and she actually uh, left a message on in the comment section where you all leave a message in the comment section. She sent me an email saying, hey, I want to send you a copy of my book. Great. I did not know she was going to autograph it or anything like that. So this is like I said, this is all love. I absolutely love the book. I love her style of writing and everything that she puts in there. So if you all want to support a fellow Aries, that's it right there. Go get her book. Yes. Matter of fact, I think for Aries season, I'm going to purchase quite a few of those books and be doing them as a giveaway. So stay tuned, Aries. Let's get into your reading. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. First of all, what are we? What are we, Aries? What are we? What are we? What are we? Yes. I want you all to say that I am identity, right? Yes, I am a strong leader. I have amazing self-confidence. I have positive energy. Matter of fact, I am positive energy. Oh, shucks. Look at all this money in these cards. Okay, it's on and popping, Aries. I'm oh, I got a message for y'all. Listen, I am brave. I am creative. I am courageous. I am determined. I am confident. I am enthusiastic. I am optimistic. I am honest, and I am passionate. Also add to that, I am a God. I don't care if you identify as a man or woman. If you're an Aries, boom. Yes, there you go. Let's get into it. I'm excited about these cards. Woo, hold on, y'all. <laughs> y'all know my energy be on a thousand, right? <sighs> I had a story I wanted to tell y'all, but I was like, no, uh-uh. I'm going to keep it on the tarot cards because I know y'all be cracking up laughing at my story. So I try to slide my little stories in there. But look at this. Look at this. A lot of y'all are realizing just how powerfully gifted you are. I'm serious. Y'all don't have time, Aries. I'm trying to help somebody. We are in 2021. Leave 2020 and all that other past stuff back there. I know a lot of people have gone through a lot of things in their childhood, right? A lot of things that you were connected to in your childhood. But I'm telling you, every single day you wake up, Aries, you have an opportunity to, to write something brand new on that blank page how you want your day to look. That is why I'm telling you all, set your intentions, sit down and put those 
you know, set those intentions within first, right? And then set them out there in the universe. Just put it out there. I am wealthy. I am a money magnet. And don't, don't worry about what people say about, oh, uh, money is evil. That's just noise. Okay, for real. That is just noise. Those same people will be the same ones that will come to you begging you for money, asking you, can you help me with my rent? Can you help me do this? Can you help me? Do no, I thought you said money was evil. Since money is so evil, then I'm going to keep my me and my evil money <laughs> to myself. <laughs> yes. So anyway, I want you all to recognize just how gifted and talented you all are spiritually gifted and talented and i'm talking about being passed down from generation to generation to generation y'all are breaking chains it is no freaking joke aries i need you all to snap out of whatever trance some of y'all are in focusing on who hurt you who did this who did that there are tons of um mental health professionals please 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 go and sign up and go see a therapist because I need you all, I need the universe to release every single thing that you all deserve. You all are some amazing people, Aries. I'm trying to tell you, you are amazing. No more half-stepping. No more letting people get in your mind and make you think that you're not any of those things that I share with you all. Remember, you are a strong leader. You have amazing self-confidence. You have positive energy. You are brave. You are creative. You are passionate. You are honest. You are optimistic. You're enthusiastic, confident, determined, courageous. And you are a God. You don't have time to be wasting. Where my scissors at? Hold on. Because I think some of y'all don't think I'm playing. Look. Look. Big old pair of scissors. We're not playing. I'm talking about cutting people off. Aries, you see what I'm saying? Cut them off. Just. I don't care if they're family members. I don't care if they are old friends you need them for a long time. If they are not on your same frequency and they are doing nothing but creating static and noise in your life. Look at it this way. They gave you the scissors to cut them off. You tell somebody your good news, Aries, and they're sitting there like they can't be happy for you. They can't support you. Go where you are appreciated, not where you are tolerated. Okay, Aries, please. I'm trying to see y'all win. I'm talking about all of y'all. That's another reason why I say please go out and support this book. She's an Aries just like you all are. Every single Aries that subscribed to my channel should go. I'm not telling. I'm not digging into people's pockets and, and, and saying y'all should, y'all better go by it. I'm just saying this book is going to bless your life. I'm trying to help y'all. You're spiritually gifted and talented. This is going to kick it up a notch. I'm telling you, it's going to kick it up a notch. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Financially independent. That's you right there. I keep the majority of these cards that came out of money cards. Look at this. Midas touch money. Everything you touch turns to gold. I'm trying to tell you, Aries, y'all don't have time to sit back and worry about people. Here we go. Legacy wealth. I'm talking about wealth for you. Even reaching back to the haters in your family, you'd be helping them. I'm telling I guarantee you, <laughs> my Samuel Jackson voice, I guarantee you, Aries, listen, listen, there are some family members right now watching y'all, seeing how y'all move, seeing how y'all putting things in order, saying, you know what? I wish I could do things like the Aries, but I'm too afraid. So it, so their love is in reverse. It looks like a bunch of hate. They, they sitting on the sidelines, don't know what to say, won't support you. They, they calling you talking about a whole bunch of junk, a bunch of nonsense stuff that just don't even matter. Aries, uh-uh, cut it off. Where the scissors at again? Get the snipping, cutting. I'm talking about a, a free, a, a clean cut. Yes, you got le legacy wealth to get to. You're trying to help your kids out, the kid, their kids, kids, everybody in front of you, and as well as the people that came before you in the past. They don't even realize it, but you don't have time to explain to people just how valuable you are to this universe. You just don't even have the time to do it. Yes, a lot of y'all are over the mess. I'm talking about completely over the haters, completely over the lukewarm spirits in y'all lives who don't know what side of the fence they want to be on. One day they're your friend, next day they're not your friend. One day they're talking about you, the one talking negatively about you, the next day they're speaking highly of you. You don't have time for all the gaslighting and playing around. You got too much money to make. You have too many lives to save and to change. Listen. I need y'all to stay focused. Y'all have been over it for a long time. Somebody asked Aries, how long you been over it for a very long time? Yes, this right here, you've been ruminating about a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to need y'all to get out of y'all head and start putting those plans to work, writing those books, 
I want you all to start creating those blogs, doing your TV shows, podcasts, all kinds of stuff, putting that information out there. You don't have time for low vibration energy anymore. Multiple streams of income, multiple streams of income. Y'all got to connect with people who are high vibration. Y'all don't have time for that low frequency anymore. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You do not have time for the low vibration anymore. You just don't. You just, you just don't. You just don't. Well, you know, all of these hangups. Well, you know, I, I've been thinking about it. Okay. Well, think it out. Put it on paper. You, it's, in your, it's been in your head for a long time. Put it on paper and then execute that plan. Yes. It's time to get it. We don't have time. 2021. Get out of 2020. You already passed all of that. 2021 showed you exactly what's what. Who was your friend? Who wasn't? Who was the cool family member? Who wasn't? Who was the fake colleagues? Who was not? You know what I'm saying? Who was really on your side and who was not? Y'all don't have time for that anymore. Anyway, let's talk about the number two before we get into the second part of this because I'm trying to tell you, Aries, it's on and popping now. You don't even have time to waste anymore. Number twos, we're stepping into the vibration of the number two, right? Number twos are excellent managers because they have, they are very, very um, meticulous, right? Excellent managers. And they know they're very persuasive, right? When I talk about somebody being manipulating in a bad way we're talking about somebody who is persuasive somebody who genuinely cares about people yes number twos are naturally responsible they're very conscientious and they are efficient number twos are very humble number two have psychic abilities though they may keep it to a secret to themselves where their card where's the card yes mm-hmm psychic abilities yes uh-huh yeah, passed down from generation to generation to generation. I'm going to tell y'all something, Aries. Some of people, some of the people in your family, I'm talking about the older generation. I hate to say this, but I'm just going to keep it real because this is the information that's been passed down to me. Will not support your spiritual gifts because nobody supported theirs. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, number twos are also extremely sensitive to other people's feelings. They, are, they sense people's feelings instantly. Number three, I mean, sorry, number twos, are also very romantic. They're naturally very romantic. And that really stems from the number connection to the number two in a partnership. Okay. Yes. Let's get to the second part of this. Oh, look at all this money in y'all cards. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you right now, Aries, you all don't even know by standing in your power, you actually deliver a whole lot of people because a lot of people are just, they, they are on assignment to distract you almost to death. And some of them are doing a really, really good job. I don't want y'all to shed another tear over a person who is left and who won't do right by you. Cut them off. Cut them off and keep, keep it moving. Keep it moving forward towards greatness because you all are great. You don't have time for that other stuff. You just don't have time for it anymore. Cut them off. Cut their families off. Cut their friends off. Cut every single person so you can get focused. So things can be crystal clear. Cut them off. Look, more money. Mm. Look at this. More money. I'm trying to... Aries, listen. Okay, first of all, let me be nice to y'all. Y'all know I'm y'all favorite cousin, right? I <laughs> Just had to add that little piece to it because I don't want y'all to figure about Queen I'm on Rob. Y'all making all these coins. Yes. This is how some of them had y'all. Straight up headaches. Begging for stuff, but won't support you. Using you as a trash receptacle. Coming to you every single time they want to dump their feelings and emotions on you, but you cannot go back to them and ask them for help. You can't borrow a dime from them. You can't even talk. They're not even available when you need some advice. They're never available because they're takers. You're givers. You, Aries, are givers, right? But now it's time to balance this thing out. Tap into your divine feminine energy, and I want you all to start nurturing yourselves, right? You are whole. Really, for real, for real? I mean, really? I mean, we really want to get down to brass tacks here? You really don't need them, and I'm talking about even family members. I know somebody that, oh, well, you know, that's my blood. Blood is thickening in water. Okay, you can keep on thinking that if you want to. <laughs> okay, we're all spirits first. I'm just going to leave it right there because I don't want to extend this too much longer. Here we go. Some of them are just a pain in the neck. I'm serious. They have just been one headache after another. Yes, mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. 
Yes, Knight of Pentacles. Y'all been working hard for y'all money. Y'all are not looking back anymore. Like I said before, you're looking to the side, but you're not looking back. You're focused on your money because it's not just about just you getting the money. You have too many people to help. Some of y'all are building homeless shelters. Some of y'all are building domestic violence shelters. Some of y'all are starting your own organizations, like uplifting people, inspiring people. You don't have time for low vibration energy. You just don't. It's too many people in this world depending on your vision, your your creativity, Aries. You don't have time for that. You just don't even have time. I see a lot of y'all traveling. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yes. I see a lot of y'all traveling. What my cards trying to do? Listen, I see a lot of y'all traveling, being very conservative with your money. Family members come to you. Can I borrow? Nope. Uh, do you have time? For nope. Well, I just, nope. Because you'll be too busy booking flights. I don't have a whole lot of time to talk. Say what you got to say. You know how people call you and they, they want to, first of all, the whole goal for calling you is to borrow money. Okay, for real. But then they want to call you with some gossip. Well, you know, um... Uh, so-and-so cousin so-and-so and they want to get to all this hoping that you're going to sit on the phone with them cut them off start getting used to cutting people off when they start to vibrate low just no nope, uh-uh i can't do nothing for you man can't help you no no mm -mm. i'm not your therapist i'm not your psychiatrist i'm not your psychologist nothing now i will go to a doctor's appointment with you to help you i will do that but no i am not a trash receptacle so a lot of people are turning people this is no I can, like I said, I have, I have flights to book. I am going where I am appreciated, not simply tolerated. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm telling you the next time a family member calls y'all asking y'all for advice, send them a PayPal invoice because this is how much it's costing me my time for all of that. The more draining they are, the higher the bill needs to be. I tell you one thing, it'll put a stop to it just like that. Look, here we go. This is how they had y'all, crying, stressed out, all of that. But look at your ancestors up there, mm -hmm. looking over you saying, oh, we got something for you in 2021. Woo, it's about to be on and popping. You won't be crying anymore. <laughs> yep, had to sail away for your own peace of mind. I'm telling you, whether you intentionally sailed away for your own peace of mind or whether the universe created a situation where it made it seem like they were the one that left you, I hope you hear me, made it seem like they were the one that left you. So a lot of them are saying, oh, yeah, I left the Aries, you know, because because this they had all these excuses, Aries. But the bottom line is, guess what? No, the universe created a situation so that you can sail away. You were like, no, because it's too much for you to get. Let me tell you why, Aries. This is wish fulfillment. Look at this person jumping off this treasure chest, nine of cups. Yes, that's you, Aries excited is i don't know what let me tell you the reason why the universe sometimes creates situations so that relationships can break up whether they're family member friendships platonic uh, romantic relationship it creates it because they know how the aries thinks look universe knows how aries think a person stab you in the back you'll give it some time well, i'm gonna put them on ice for a little while and then i'll come back around because they know eventually because you all are givers you all will give them money. You will give them your time. You will give them energy. And that's all the person is in your life for to take, take, take from you, right? You're thinking you're punishing them by putting them on time out. They're like, mm -mm, we already been through this before. I already know Aries not going to talk to me for about a month or two. Then they're going to come back around and, and, and then it's going to be all good. And that's when I'll sting, right? I, when they come back saying, well, hey, you know, how's it going? Or you know how y'all are really, really nice to people. Y'all got to get used to cutting people off. Cutting people off, leaving that door closed, and no, never look back. Here we go. That's not holding a grudge. It is what it is. Once a person shows you who they are, once your spirit sees exactly who they are, and I'm talking about the universe is exposing people left and right. I'm telling you, there's some people that still need to be exposed. I'm just getting strong, strong, strong family ties for some people. We know, we're not talking about your friends because I think y'all pretty much got that already. We're talking about some family members that just don't have your best interest at heart. They've been lying on you. They've been secretly running smear campaigns, all kinds of stuff, Aries. I need y'all to open your eyes and see what's really going on around y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, y'all have too much to do for the universe, and you're going to need a lot of money. Yep, here we go, time, number 14. Yes, right, you see that? One plus four time is the doorway. <clears throat> One plus four is five. Number five means it's a pivotal point in your life. There are some people 
that are will distract you to death. And I'm getting real strong family. I'm t mm. The message I'm getting in these cards is that we got some of y'all got family members that have been distracting y'all to death with their their sad love song, sad sorry song. Y'all know Tony Braxton songs, love, sad love song, but they have been distracting y'all. Um, they know certain things trigger y'all from when y'all were kids. You know, some some people have been molested, some people have been raped, some people have domestic violence and i'm not talking about being victims of domestic violence directly but some of y'all parents have been beat up on by your your other parent or whatever the case may be and it's that that trauma for a child is very very real to see your mother or your father get beat up by your other parent and you're like hold on that's confusing all that trauma and you don't have anybody in your family that's going to nurture you or say, hey, why don't the both of us go to therapy together? They're sitting there, well, yeah, you know what? My father and my mother, they used to fight all the time. You don't need to hear all of that. You're only interested in healing so that you can go out here and help heal other people. Yes. Y'all don't have time for that. You just don't have time for it. No more looking back to all of that. If a person is not willing to walk hand in hand with you so that y'all can go get help together, all that other stuff is noise. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Aries. Y'all need to go out here and get it. Cut all that other mess off. Seriously, all that other stuff is noise. That's what I have for you. Have a fantastic day. But then again, uh, 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 I know you will. I need to create my own little theme song. Yes, I do. And don't forget to get the book, Orisha's Goddesses and Voodoo Queens. Again, Miss Dorsey did not ask me to mention it. It's not like she's saying, Queen, go out there and sell my book. No, she did not ask. I'm doing this is all love because that's just how good the book is. So when y'all are calling me for advice about Orisha's Goddesses, Voodoo Queens and all of that, go purchase her book. You'll be glad you did. That's what I have for you. Have a great one. Bye.